Well, it's good to see you, Elijah. It's been a while. Um, the, the, the typical general ed student at Drake State is pursuing usually either an Associate of Arts degree or an Associate of Science degree. The Associate of Arts focuses on the, you know, the humanities uh, side of general education, and the AS degree focuses on the STEM, the STEM fields. Um, so a, a general education student at this college is going to be taking your English classes, math, biology, uh, you know, physics, psychology, and uh, history, and stuff like that. Um, the, the typical AA or AS student is your transfer student. Uh, typically, uh, the student who's looking to transfer to a four-year degree and enter a career such as, you know, teaching or engineering, law, medicine. I mean, all, all of those fields begin uh, right here in general education. Why is this a great major for someone who may not know exactly what they want to be or do as a career? Yeah, it's the perfect major for someone like that, Elijah. I mean, you know, I mean, how many 17-year-olds come out of college, I mean, high school, knowing exactly what they want to do with their lives? You know, a lot of them just don't have a clear path. They don't have a clear calling. Uh, and so what general education allows you to do is explore a number of different areas, a number of different subjects, and find out what you're good at, you know, um, and what you're going to enjoy doing. You know, work forms a, a very important part of our lives. I mean, you know, let's face it, when you meet somebody new, what, what questions do they ask you? You know, what's your name? Where are you from? What do you do? Right? I mean, it's a big part of our identity. So doing work that we enjoy, I, I think, is an essential part of personal happiness. Um, you know, when the, when the college opened in 1961, we opened as Huntsville Vocational College. And that word vocational has always interested me because, you know, the word means the work you do, but you can hear that word vocal in it, right? Um, you know, it's not just the work you do, it's the work you're called to do. Um, and, you know, a lot of students at a young age, they just don't know what that calling is. They got to get out there and, and look around uh, and find that, that right path for them. I think it's fair and safe to say that you kind of help students find their calling because this is one of the classes that regardless of what you want to do with your life, that students are required to take English. Yes. You know, I didn't major yes. in English. I majored in journalism, but <laughs> as a university student, I was still required to take classes that weren't necessarily geared towards my major, but satisfy university requirements. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of true for colleges as well, two-year schools. Well, you know, I teach writing the same way I teach life, you know, uh, follow your bliss. Uh, you're, you're, you, we rarely get good at things we don't enjoy doing, right? So if, you're, if you enjoy something, you're probably good at it, you have a talent for it. We're, we're, you're never going to get great at something you don't enjoy doing. I mean, when I teach writing, I, I tell them, find the joy in it. There's a lot of joy in expressing yourself and being heard and making your case, right? So they got to find the joy in there. Um, and in life, life is the same way. What, what do you enjoy? That, sh that should be what's dictating your, your career paths. This may be an obvious question, but yeah. I'm sure students want to know, what do you enjoy? What do I enjoy? I enjoy teaching, man. I mean, you know, I don't do this for the money. Uh, I, I know that, we <laughs> you know, a lot of people like to gauge the quality of an education by the amount of money you can earn, right? But I remind my students that if you're good at something, really good at it, it doesn't matter what it is. If you're good at it, you can find somebody to pay you to do it, all right? And, th and there's more to being happy in life than having money. You know, I, I know a lot of successful people, and I can tell you success and happiness are two different things. Uh, they don't always go hand in hand. You know, and when you grow up, say, and you don't have a lot of money, you, you tend to think, well, if I had money, I'd be happy. Um, but I think more important in that equation is having a job that you don't hate getting up and going to every morning. You know, I mean, you ask me what I enjoy. I haven't set an alarm in 15 years. I don't need to. You know, I pop awake every morning, ready to go, ready to go to work. And when you, you know? love what you do, what does it not feel like? Work. Exactly. What you do doesn't feel like work. Well, then now you're... you're that, you know, like, inspirational speakers will tell us when you enjoy what you do, it doesn't feel like work. It's like brushing your teeth every single day, like, just doing what you love, like, out of... Some things just become habit and you just do it and you go with the flow, mm -hmm. but you do it and you love it. And hey, that's no, a good feeling to have to know that you're in the right place in your life. Absolutely. You yeah. Love. Nobody wants to spend 40 years of their life doing something they hate. You know, yeah. I mean, that's no way to live. And, and you remind me of my Benjamin Franklin who said, uh, make your hobby your source of income and you never work a day in your life. So I want to back up and show everyone 
what's behind you? My art wall? Yeah. Yeah, now these are all uh, Drake students uh, and local artists. Uh, there are a couple of store-bought pieces, like these are store-bought, for example. But, yeah, it's mostly student art. Uh, you know, we like to be creative in here. And um, I like art. What can I say? Talk to us about the design of your classroom to help enhance a student's learning. Well, I mean, there's... In, in, in this particular classroom, you're sitting in the writing lab half. So we have half the classroom dedicated to a writing lab, the other half dedicated for lecture and discussion. Uh, got a couch, got reading areas sitting around. Um, and I think it's important that the classroom be inviting, that it's warm, uh, that it's not intimidating. Um, I mean, we, as children, we learn through play, right? We, we learn by having fun. And I think th the same is true for an adult. And I want an environment where a student can come in, have fun, laugh, talk, discuss, feel relaxed, uh, and enjoy the learning process. And I know I keep using that word enjoy and fun and follow your bliss and stuff like that. But I think it's so important to not only success, but to personal happiness. What are some advice you would like to give to a student um, who may be coming to Drake State for the first time and they want to have a successful and happy career, what, can, what advice would you share with them? Be flexible, stay open. Uh, you know, I, I tell my students all the time, it would be a shame to come to a college, go through the entire program and leave with all of the same ideas you came in with, right? So I think it's important to come in with an open mind, uh, you know, wanting to learn. You know, I, I, I feel like part of my job is instilling in the students a, a real love of learning to show them it's fun to learn. It's fun to know new things. Uh, and I think having a better understanding of the world around you, having a better understanding of, of, of different people and different cultures and different ideas uh, is it, so much a part of overall quality of life. Well, you know, to wrap it up, Elijah, I think the, 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 the last thing that prospective students need to know about Drake and the general education department is that we have a dedicated faculty um, who is very serious about serving students. Uh, like I said, we get to know everybody individually and if, you know, I know a lot of our students haven't had, you know, a, a lot of great experiences in school or in the classroom. I run into that, you know, fairly often. Uh, and I can tell you this is going to be an experience here like, uh, like you've never had.